Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is my favorite video to film every year, my year long makeup empties. This is my fifth time doing this video on my channel. So I'll link the other ones in the description box and you can also find them in my empties playlist. I do a lot of project pans on my channel. So if you want to catch up on those, check out the project pan playlist. I actually have one for every year. I've been project panning for over six years. I was just doing it on my own before I started my YouTube channel and continued it on my channel. And I will be continuing this. So new project pans coming in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for some new project pan intros. I upload four videos a week. So if you are interested, stay tuned for that. I'm gonna be showing you the products, giving you some numbers and let's get started. Alrighty, so this is all of the makeup that I finished this year. This is just makeup, this is not skincare, this is not perfume, nail polish, purely makeup. And almost all of these are full-size makeup products. I think only two or three were deluxe sizes. I don't include like little foil samples or anything like that. I only include full size and like deluxe size makeup products, but almost all of these were full size. I am so excited. So the total was 59 items and the value was $881. I was hoping to get to $1,000 of makeup empties. That's something I've wanted to do since I started Project Panning. Like I said, I've been doing this for six years. I've never gotten to $1,000. I'm going to try again. I'm going to keep trying. I think the key for me will be to focus on more high-end products. I use quite a bit of drugstore makeup. A lot of my favorites are from e.l.f. or CoverGirl. So, you know, I think there is a big difference between something that costs $6 and something that costs $30. So I think the only way I could get to $1,000 of makeup empties would be if I really focused on some higher-end products. But you'll see that this is a combo of drugstore and high-end makeup. Right. So 59 items total. Let me go category by category and show you everything. Six mascaras, I used up six and $55 was the total for mascara. My favorite is the L'Oreal Carbon Black. I love that one. And I use a mascara until I cannot get any more on my lashes. I don't really go by like a three or six month rule, but usually my mascara, I end up finishing it anywhere from between three to nine months. So that's just how I do it. I just keep using it until I can't get any more product on my lashes. I wouldn't keep a mascara for more than a year, but I think like six to nine months is fine. I'm not that worried about it. So yeah. Concealer, I finished six concealers. These are all full-size concealers. $67 was the value. I am very excited about this because I had a lot of concealer at the beginning of the year and I really wanted to get that number down. So yeah, I really actually enjoyed most of the ones that I've used up except the one from Becca. I really did not like that one, but the rest were good. I really like the CoverGirl one. Um, I did do a favorites, I did two favorites videos actually last week. So you can check those out if you're interested in hearing about some of my favorite products. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with concealer. Uh, brow products, I used up four. And as you can tell, they are all tinted brow gels. <laughs> Three from e.l.f., one from Merit Beauty. So the total there was $36. I love both the e.l.f. and the Merit. And I have another tube of each one of them. I use tinted brow gel every single day, so I do go through that regularly. Face primer, this is another exciting one. I finished six face primers. The total value for this was $125. I love that Becca one, that purple one. I am so sad that that does not exist anymore. That's really one of my favorites. I also loved the one from First Aid Beauty and the one from Shop Miss A. I really enjoyed these primers. I usually like a pore filling primer, but sometimes I like one that is a bit more on the hydrating side. So yeah, I'm sad I can't buy that Becca one anymore, but yeah, I'm very excited. And I bought all the primers I currently own um, were all new because I used up all of my other primers. Lip gloss, this is exciting. I finished eight lip glosses total value was 109 dollars as you can see some of these were drugstore 
Two of them were those minis from Pat McGrath where you can purchase three minis for $25. Um, and I also finished one of her full-size glosses, which a full-size gloss by her is $28. So yeah, I'm very, very excited. As you can see the Clarence lip oil, it is in a little plastic bag because it was leaking terribly. So the outside of the packaging is all sticky, which is why I put it in a plastic bag. That's kind of frustrating. I actually have another Clarence lip oil that I got in PR that is a shimmery one, and that one does not appear to be leaking. So that's a little frustrating, but it's fine. I do like the lip oils actually. Okay, lipstick, also exciting. I finished four lipsticks for a value of $60. And as you can tell, these are all liquid lipsticks. I love liquid lipstick. What I usually do most days is wear a liquid lipstick with a gloss on top. So for me, using up liquid lipstick is not super difficult. Um, bullet lipsticks take me a long time, but I also don't use them as much anymore. So. Yeah, and today I'm wearing lip liner and lip gloss. So yeah, I love liquid lipstick and I used up four, which is very exciting. Highlighter, this one is exciting too. I finished four highlighters and the value was $84. As you can see, two are liquid highlighters and two are powder highlighters, full size. I finished up the one from Catrice and the one from Urban Decay. I was working on that Urban Decay one for a long time, like over two years. It took me a really long time to finish that powder highlighter. The Catrice one didn't take as long. Because I used that as finishing powder, it definitely went faster than the Urban Decay one, but I'm pretty excited about this category and I do wanna finish up more highlighter. All right, moving on, foundation. I finished eight foundations and the total value was $119. As you can see, several of these are from Shop Miss A, and those, the values, they're only $1. They're not a full fluid ounce, though. Most foundations are a fluid ounce, and these are about 0.6. So they are easier to finish up than other foundations. So do keep that in mind. Um, but I really like the ones from Shop Miss A. I think they're really good. Estee Lauder Double Wear is still my holy grail. That's what I'm wearing today. I've been repurchasing that one for so many years. And even though there's other foundations that I love, that one is still the best I've ever tried. Okay, here's another very exciting category, blush. I finished two blushes and what was the value? $33. So I finished a full-size powder blush, the Too Faced one. So excited. I've been working on that powder blush. So again, that's something I've been working on for like two years. And then I finished a cream blush from Maybelline. and. This one was not super pigmented, so it actually was not that difficult. This was the first time I've ever finished a cream blush. And yeah, so that was very exciting. Uh, next up is powder. So the total value is $72. I finished up one of the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, which is my Holy Grail under eye powder. That's the only powder I use on my under eyes. And then I finished up the Charlotte Tilbury powder, which I like that one, but Considering how expensive it is, $45, I have powders from the drugstore that I think are also really good. So I'm not sure I'd repurchase that, but the Mineral Veil, I mean, I obviously did repurchase that. It's my holy grail. It's the only one that I use. Lip liner, this is exciting. I did finish one lip liner, uh, the value is $6. It's from ColourPop. It was the shade in BFF. I really liked it and I want to pan more lip liners. I don't wear lip liner that often. Like I said, today I am wearing a lip liner, but most days it's kind of a step I forget about, but I didn't buy any lip liners this year, so that's exciting, but this is something I definitely want to use more up. Okay, next up, face sprays. I finished up four, value is $33. As you can see, there's Mario Badescu, but my favorite is the one from e.l.f. I currently own MAC Fix Plus and the one from Smashbox, but those are the same as the e.l.f. one to me, and the e.l.f. is way cheaper, so definitely gonna be sticking with that, but I use setting spray every single day, so it's something I finish up pretty regularly. Next up, I finished one eye primer value of $22. It is the one from Pretty Vulgar. This is something I got in BoxyCharm last year when I had BoxyCharm for six months in 2020. 
and I, I canceled it. I haven't had it since. I feel like I was getting some things I really liked, but then some things that I wasn't using. The Pretty Vulgar Eye Primer is really good though, but I find that it is nearly identical to the one from Milani, which is six or seven dollars, and that's what I'm using now. So I wouldn't repurchase the Pretty Vulgar, but I mean, it was really good, so I'm happy that I got it in BoxyCharm. Um, okay, eyeliner, I finished one, seven dollars. This was a liquid eyeliner and I kind of stopped using liquid eyeliner. It's so crazy. I used to wear winged liner like almost every single day. And then a few months ago, I just kind of stopped doing it and now I don't even want to wear it anymore. I feel like my eyeshadow looks better without it. So yeah, I finished a liquid eyeliner, but who knows, I haven't used any in a while. Um, okay, bronzer. I finished one full-size powder bronzer. A very exciting value is $8. It was the one from ColourPop in Coconut Beach, and I liked this bronzer. I do, but I've just realized that I like the other bronzers in my collection too. I did not buy any powder bronzer all year, and I had to use this bronzer, so I already, I think I already had pan on this bronzer at the, at the beginning of the year, and I used it almost every single day, so it took me well over a year of very, very regular use to use up a powder bronzer. So that just makes me not want to buy anymore because I like the ones that I have and they take so long to use up. But I haven't bought a powder bronzer in over a year, so I am happy with that. But yeah, bronzer for me, because I'm light-handed with bronzer, this is not an easy category for me to finish. Last up though, this is the most exciting, face palettes. I finished one face palette, the value is $45. This was the Becca Afterglow face palette. I used every last drop of this. The middle pan was a bronzer, so I did finish that, but that was, these are the size of little eyeshadows. So using up that bronzer, I actually, I repressed it into another compact and it actually went pretty quickly. It only lasted me about like a month because um, there's very little product in there. But the blushes took a while to finish. Those were very pigmented. And then the highlighters, those kind of took a while, but again, not as long as the blush. So because you can see the pans in this palette were very small, I had to repress everything into other compacts because once you got close to the edge, it was impossible to get the product out. So that is something I do a lot. I have a repressing video. I'll link that in the description box. It just made using this up much, much easier. So I am very excited. I used up a whole face palette. I used up, let me, some of the most exciting categories, lip glosses, eight lip glosses. I'm really happy with that. Four liquid lipsticks, very happy about that. So yeah, 59 items total, $881 for a value. I would have loved to get to $1,000, but you know, I think I would just have to really focus on more high-end products, but I'm so happy that I finished up a full-size powder blush, two full-size powder highlighters, one powder bronzer, but those are things I was working on for quite a while. I was not working on them just this year. A lot of those products I used a lot last year as well. So that is it for this video. I am thrilled with my project panning progress for the year. Like I said, I've been project painting for six years and I plan on continuing it. It's something I enjoy. I like to make sure I get my money's worth out of my makeup collection. So if you want to see more, check out my project pan playlist and my empties playlist. Stay tuned for new project pans. Let us know how you did on empties this year. That is it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.